All right, everybody, welcome back to Outer Wilds. This is part number six of my blind Let's Play, and we are uh, getting ready to jump back into the action. Um, following on from last night, um, what did we do last night? So we finished off quite a bit on Brittle Hollow and the Ember Twin, and um, I know I kind of felt a bit disappointed at, um, after what we discovered yesterday, because... I was kind of expecting to find more at the um, Tower of Knowledge on um, Brittle Hollow uh, of how to access the um, Quantum Moon. I thought I was going to find out some more information there. Um, unfortunately, we didn't. Now, I kind of feel like, after like a bit of hindsight thinking, um, we need to use the we need, we need to use that dial somehow i maybe need to study that like dial of where the quantum moon is in a little bit in a little more detail try and understand if there is a pattern and i kind of also feel like i need to wait at the gravity cannon for long enough so that I can almost like when the the quantum moon like intersects over Bristle Hollow, we can then fire the the cannon, fire our ship, uh, in the hope that we end up on the moon. Um, I mean, it's the only thing I've got to go on at the moment as to how we actually get onto the moon and and how we can go to like the south and pole. Because um, once we're on there, we need to we we've learnt. That there's something at the North Pole as well, which is to do with how we access the sixth secret location of the quantum moon, which isn't documented anywhere. So we've got that to look at. We've also got, um, we still don't fully understand, or, or don't know at least, where the, or how we access the Black Hole Forge, if and if, if, if at all we do. Um, it certainly looks like if we can get up to the ceiling, there is the gravity platforms that will allow us to walk on the top there. And I just feel that there is something about that whole Black Hole Forge district that we need to get to. And I'm, I think there's some crucial information there. But like I said, I just don't fully know how we get to it. I had the hunch last night about using the um, the stone, finding the stone for Brittle Hollow and putting it in Brittle Hollow's place. To see maybe if that would like flip us into a different direction, but that um, didn't work. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm again. That's it's another kind of thing that I'm not really a um, hundred percent sure about. So yeah, I suppose we're going to jump in. I'll recheck the logs and everything. I think we we checked the logs like before we stopped and that ended last night's episode. I can't quite remember if we did or not. And um, I don't know, maybe it's time to, yeah, we, we mentioned about the radio stations as well. So we said maybe we'd go and see if we could find the deep space satellites. So that's maybe an avenue we can explore tonight as well. And um, I am thinking though, we need to kind of, we spent a lot of time so far on the game, focusing on the Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow. Maybe we need to kind of check out some of the other locations. And I think a good place to start if we want to kind of, explore that avenue would possibly be um heading back to the interloper especially now that we know how to properly navigate the ghost matter um i think i kind of looked out when we went when we visited that before in episode three or four that we kind of found what we did and i don't really think we took in the surroundings before we came to the death whatever i think i think we fell to our death didn't we or maybe we just landed on some ghost matter or stuff so um or stuff well my english is great this time and so yeah we've got um plenty of options but yeah like i said maybe we need to think about um going somewhere else and trying some different places because uh, i do feel like we've spent a lot of time focusing on those two areas and uh there's plenty more to see and do. Also, Leo, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Uh, all right, so let's uh, head off, shall we? For our ship. All 
Alright, so let's uh, start by heading up to the radio tower, shall we? Okay, so what we what we um, what we took from last time is that one of these we counted the we counted the items. And I'm sure it was the one at satellite position forty at forty degrees satellite here, which we identified had the extra thing. Which was, of course, the the quantum moon. Which is, I think, that's the quantum moon right there. Or at least we assume it's the quantum moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We don't know how many's there because uh, of the camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Count something. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, five. Yeah, no, I miscounted. So, I think the one at forty degrees is the one where the the extra bit we that was found. Um, and of course, it's um, where they discover something was weird. Now, uh, so it's at 40 degrees, okay? The satellite angle is 40 degrees. How easy is that to translate into actual space coordinates as such? There's the there's one of the satellites. I'm guessing the hunch, but I'm guessing the other satellites don't appear until we've actually discovered them, right? But if those ones are going around Yeah, you're you you know an orange N member atom. Congratulations. So I, I, it's only an assumption, but I'm guessing like that's the the orbital path of that satellite. So the others will be going kind of like that way and that way. So if I am to hold on, up. really off, quite off putting about the PlayStation controls. It says that the map is the. Um, it says the map is the touch screen, uh, the, like the touch button, the big one in the middle here, but it's actually not, and I keep pressing it. it brings up the options, which uh, a bit intense. Okay, so. Hey, Mr. Moon. Hi, Mr. Moon. I'm guessing I'm guessing we're looking for another more flashing red lights off out in the distance. I oh, know we can use the we got the frequency, didn't we? Of course. Got 
about the frequency. Let's lock it onto the radio tower. find them as uh, I thought it's locking on to that one Make sense that all these satellites have different frequencies, would it? I wouldn't have thought so. That would be a little bizarre. I'm just looking to see if I can find the other satellites, LB. Um, I don't appear to be able to pick them up unfortunately. I don't know why, maybe I'm not doing something right. Can you stop moving? Thank you. I press the buckle. Because this is the one is it I think that Gabbro's in the picture of this one, isn't it? Isn't he? Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Oh. Okay, I'm stupid. Okay. So, um... What I... Okay, I thought that there was more than one satellite, but there isn't, is there? There isn't more than one satellite. It is simply when that photo was taken, it tells you at what sort of position it was at. So we're only really interested in the satellite when it's at 40 degrees. Is it 40 degrees? I think it was. That's when the um that's when the weird I think that's when the weird shape appears in front of the sun. Uh well, we say the sun, it's a star. We don't necessarily it's not necessarily the sun. Because um Okay, well I do feel a little um if you did, I didn't make that assumption or that identification earlier on. All right, so for now, um, I'm going to leave that for now and instead. I'll take a look at the if we can catch it. We'll actually take a look at the uh, interlopper. Instead, I said about um, at the top of the stream about the game. Or just before we start the stream, sorry that the um, the game does a great job of like keeping notes, and I haven't felt like I need to make my own. Maybe I should have made it more of a note of the um, 
of the uh, actual coordinates of the satellite. I think that's probably like my best my best landing ever. Okay. So I don't remember here. Try to remember at least. The way down somewhere, isn't there? Have our Careful of the ice. Is it not possible to get to the north, like the North Pole of the? Uh you know, I know it's like slippy and slidey and stuff, but just like every time I try and uh, get near it, oh yikes! That's not good. That was a close one. <laughs> I thought I was going to get burnt to a crisp. Okay. I didn't find this before. This is troublesome. It seems that the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle into ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back to the to home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we wouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of the one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continually monitoring the surface. This would be wise. I think Clary, you don't mind waiting here with it. Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. Okay, so kind of feel like the ship froze now. If it can be recalled from Brittle Hollow, does that mean if I recall it that it would leave it would leave a great big hole for me to go down? Hmm. Definitely like found a way through it before. Almost wondering if the uh, the no my ship wasn't there. I have hours of fun like sliding around on here.
Let's um Unless there was a way through the rock, perhaps. On the center? That just looks like it's... Uh, there's just ice on the top, so it's not like there's a way through there. Well, I wonder if that's what I need to do. Hole station. Um, okay. Let's. Okay. Let's let's go see if we can do something with this. We recall the ship. On Brittle Hollow. Hold on, though. Just want to check. Did it say Brittle Hollow? No, that's that's the in-between one, isn't it? Um, yeah, I need to go to the in-between, not to Brittle Hollow. Um, Hopefully, it's not too, um, it's not covered in um, sand too much at the minute. It's only getting that way though, isn't it? Right, here's the gravity cannon. Gotta be careful here not to get sucked into the sun. Yeah, we're too late. The um, the sand has risen too high here. So we're not going to be able to do anything this time around with the gravity cannon. Which is a shame. Don't ask what I'm trying to do right now because I'll be completely honest, I probably couldn't tell you. So I'm guessing this one Is the Sun Tower. Sometimes passing so checked in with you, Pi. How are you and the and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that all the plans will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. There's explosions involved. Pi, 
You know I don't find that funny. How curious. Rami thinks that I'm I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in you testing your hypothesis, Yarrow. That, at least, we can agree on. I don't see what state of matter you are... I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting Sun Station's construction, but here we are. Alright. Oh. That was always going to end in disaster. Well, that's one way to restart the loop. I'm wondering then, we, I wonder if there's a way that we can um, ask these cacti with um, spiked by a terrible beast. <laughs> Wrong game, Delby. All right. Contrary to what I said pre-stream, I'm going to make some notes. EBBS Death by Something Spike What's the second beast down for Am? Alright. First things first, let's go to the radio tower. Oh, death by black screen. Okay, so our angles are uh, forty. I think is the angle we had before when we we looked at this. 248 degrees and 350 degrees. And the one we're most interested in, I think, is the 40 degree one. Which, interestingly enough, is I don't think we would get there in time because the 40 degree one is pretty much where I think is where the satellite starts out okay so step two let's head to in between Do you know what? I've just seen that on, um... Yikes. I saw that coming and I was like, no! I'm gonna go into the sun! <laughs> um, I don't think I visited... Sorry to deviate. I don't think I visited the, um... the fast travel station on... Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth. Shortest loop ever.
Maybe we did visit this when we were, um... Yikes. Maybe we did visit it when we explored the very first time we found the Quantum Grove for the first time. So, we really need spacesuit because, uh, we can travel around a bit quicker. Yeah, I think we explored everything here. Okay. Slight deviation, but... this time to avoid the sun. What was the uh, AP stand for in that one? It's going to get me again. I think I just managed to uh, escape it again. It was pretty freaking close. I think, um, to be fair, death by Dum Dum would suffice. Okay, and let's. Recall. Okay, we've recalled the show. Be in the shuttle though. Please. Alright, so now I need to get off out of the cannon again. Probably a much easier way to do it, of course, but doing it the knock way. Jeez, jeez! Down, down, down. for the jetpack and can I set the yes right. let's set that on there out here as to like where that's going in comparison to the sun. We're gonna, we're gonna die again. <laughs> Alright, somehow somehow, some way we managed to stay out the sun. I think we were just, just outside its gravitational pull.
Oh, we came in hot there. All right, so now if I am, if I'm thinking about this correctly. My hunch is there should be a massive hole now where that ship was. No? Ah. Uh huh. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Thing is, alright, if the ship was here, they went off to explore the surface on foot. I did, but I, f I feel like I didn't really understand because I kind of cheesed it, I feel. So I kind of wanted to revisit this area so I could properly see and understand, if that makes sense. Problem is here though. I have no recollection at all. Of how I got. Hmm. All right, well. You see, there's more to explore, you see, that's why, that's why I was kind of looking around. It's got to be in here, surely. got to be a path like here somewhere
use old maze logic. Stick to the left. This is why it's never good to, like, cheese something, because then you can never remember how to get back to certain locations. Anything else that I can... Shaw's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of them are located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. Okay. So we want the sunward side. Which is the top, right? Well then. So somewhere on the ice, there is a way through. moving away from the sun, so... Definitely sit on the ice, didn't it? Well, this ain't going to last for much longer, I'll be honest, because, uh, A, we're probably running out of time, and B, 
Your level is critical. See, our ship is like 20 kilometers away now. And the only saving grace from here is we could make the um, potentially make the white hole station. Which has got to be somewhere around us, but... It's the Dark Souls of Majora's Mass Clones. <laughs> Hate to see it. I was going on differential. Hope you are well. One of the achievements does reference Majora's Mask? Interesting. I remember being really excited when that game came out. I, I got like day one limited edition gold cartridge for the Nintendo 64. Never ended up finishing it. <laughs> I don't think I, I hardly played it, to be fair. There was just something about like going from um, Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask, which was just a little bit weird. I think because on the face of it, it was such a different game from the original, from Ocarina of Time, and what I was expecting it to be. Anyway, we um, catastrophically failed there. Um, so let's make a note. Where is... Where, oh where? I know what that one stands for. Death by running out of oxygen. Wouldn't it be triple O though? Alright, we need to decide what we're going to do here because we're not. We're just sort of like running around here, not doing a lot, if I'm honest. central chamber inside the ash twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell and no my plan to construct a technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on ash twin does that mean that if i find and it does that mean if they completed the uh, technology and i find it i can technically go back to the route to restart the loop without dying <laughs> This 
discoveries about everything other than But discoveries on everything other than Hollow's Lantern. I don't know if we can actually um, if we can actually like land on Hollow's Lantern at all. So that just tells about the black hole core being high up. Hold on a moment. Hold on. So, right. They crafted the warp cores at the Black Hole Forge. Does that mean there is a way to the Black Hole Forge from the Ash Twin Towers? That would kind of make sense in a way because then if they're transporting the cores from the forge to the ash twin they would need some way of fast travel perhaps possibly Okay, so this just points to the arrows. Basically, point or give us the uh, yeah the the arrows, the individual rumors that we look at when we look at each of these cards. One cards for lack of a. Interesting that this is about the shrine, that it that the shrine must be on the moon's north pole, so obviously the shrine can be moved. Vessel and Escape Pod 3 are both on Dark Bramble. I'm pretty sure Dark Bramble is the place that when we visited it before we got eaten by one of the um, anglerfish. There's a probe cannon. Orbiting Giants Deep. Maybe it was Giants Deep that... Um, was it Giants Deep? I guess that's the orbital thing, right? I'm sure Dark Dark Giant Steep is the place we went where the anglerfish ate us all up. Maybe it, maybe it is um I mean, it's about time we went and investigated one of the planets or moons that we haven't been to. Uh, 
Esto. Because we're just... I, I feel like all I'm doing at the minute is wasting time. And I'm not really making any more discoveries about anything. I'm just focusing on where we've been to at the minute. Quantum Moon? I guess it is, yeah. Came in way too hot. It seems to take like a really long time to like break, but accelerating is accelerating is pretty quick. So this is the orbital count. So this is what we see blow up when we first open our eyes on Timber Hearth. Um Why did the cannon? Or why does the cannon? Sorry, oh, I don't want to do that. Why did or why does the cannon disintegrate? Probe tracking module. Control module. Launch module. It's the three. Let's have a look at the control module, I guess. Just do. Okay, this is uh, this is interesting. Uh, bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital pro cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were, my friend, but no, they aren't certain that they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on an indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left, left to visit her brother, so fears idea may feel responsible. Is it too arrogant to say that I'd rather eat my own baked bread, sour bread, than buy those in the grocery store? 
No, not at all. Why? Why are these in different colours? Normally the text is blue and then it goes to this sort of like white colour, but these were orange before I read them. That's interesting. Okay. Something not good has happened at this launch module, that's for sure. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components soon. Relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me, tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and I am right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting. I can posit ne with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Ah. So these people are... These Nomai are... They are defying what is going on, aren't they? They've been told to only use a certain power setting and they are completely and utterly defying what they have been asked to do. Okay, so that was on... Oh, it's deep, isn't it? Alright, so let's go back on to... Yeah. Seven minutes, 49 seconds ago, a request to launch probe received from the Ash Twin project. Can align with randomly selected probe trajectory, gravity field activated. Some, what, so somebody, somebody or something on the Ash Twin. Yeah, this is really interesting because now this, we have like a time frame Obviously, we we're aware that the loop is um, twenty-two minutes, right? Um, so obviously, this gives us an indication of how long we've got left until the loop kind of goes. But the Ash Twin, something at the Ash Twin project, requested to launch the probe, and I guess that's what we see when we wake up. Then somebody launched the probe. The I guess the power or the energy settings were too high, which is what we've seen in the text. And the whole thing just kind of blew up, I guess. I don't know what that is. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from the probe. Alright, we need to find the probe then. Warning. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. I looked away for the cool part.
So it fires the probe. We, we do actually see like the probe. We do actually see the probe like shooting off in the distance, don't we? And then that's what caused it to break up, I guess. Is the probe? Damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module. Intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module is missing. So I guess we're going to need to find at some point, or try and find, a way to track the probe, right? Launch module. Let's take a look at the launch module. Was it the launch module that was exposed to the vacuum of space? guessing so prompting us though to launch the scout can I say still please thank you Yeah, that's a really cool feature. Like, I fire the scout and it actually pushes me back. Wait, if it's exposed to the vacuum of space... Potentially... Could I, like, go... Back out of the cannon. And come into it from this side. There's a rupture in the window. Probe tracking. Okay, so we might be able to use the stone then to actually identify where the probe has gone. Imagine, Privet. The pracking? The, the, pracking? the probe in tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honoured and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, so who minds if it's compromised the orbital probe's structural integrity slightly? Slightly? It looks like it completely broke up. Um, I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Well, I hate to say it, but I kind of feel a little bit too little too late I'm afraid Malo, my better 50% Cassava is sending the last account oh we've already read this haven't we yeah we've read this already sure we did Okay. 
Let's pop this in here. So... It looks like the eye somewhere where there is a large um, electronic field. See, I still, I, I don't know what it is, but I still feel like we're missing something with these projection stones. trouble here. Um, I don't have an answer to that question, I'll be at the minute. We tried this before, didn't we? Um, oh. through here. No. Okay, I'm a little confused. How did I get out of here before? It's not like I can go back into there. This is like the tunnel that leads to it. This is the central segment here. I don't understand how I... How did I get out of here in the first instance? I'm so lost. See, this is sealed up, so I can't come out. I can't go back in this way.
fumbling around like a complete and utter idiot at the minute. I apologize, guys. Oh, is it this one? The problem is, right, I spend so much time fumbling around like an idiot. And now, by the time I get over to here, I'm pretty much going to be out of time, I bet. The loop. interesting isn't it you match them up yeah that's what I intended to do though I'll be That's what I intended to do. sort of trying to think there like if I matched the stones up with their pedestals would anything happen when clearly the answer is no so hold on let's make some more notes yeah probe we've explored we've not explored it all have we we've explored the control room And was it the robe? Can't remember what's the other. There's definitely more to explore there. It was the uh, Supernova Mika. Whenever you hear the, um, whenever you hear that track, it means um, the end is nigh. Take a moment to be mindful. That's the probe shooting off. Interestingly though, I feel like feel like there are um, people still alive on the Ash Twin because it seemed to insinuate the from what we read there that there was. Um, Somebody launched it from the Ash Twin. Yeah. 
Reese, I recently received a request from the Ashwin project to launch the probe. Cannon was lined with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised and the process damage detected multiple modules. Um, launch module is badly damaged and its projection pool is still intact. No mind, no mind, I'd argue that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity were compromised since only to fire the probe once. And no mind, no privet counter to that, that they, they, they would countered that they wouldn't be able to capable of receiving the pro's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed. One of the orbital probe's cannons three modules, the probe tracking module is receiving data is receiving data. Any no mind board the probe tracking module would be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. No new computer reports the probe tracking module as missing. I saw the probe tracking module through a no mile projection port. It looks like the module is underwater. It could see purple electricity outside the viewport. Broken remains of the number special in order to deep. There are three on uh, a very orbital probe. Cannon was created for the precise location of the eye. No I pushed the orbital program and put the maximum passing to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. There's mention of the construction yard on Giants Deep. Alright, but we definitely need to go back to the and check out the probe tracking module. So to go back to what I was thinking about with the uh, the stones, just to sort of um, validate my thought process on what I was trying to do there, the with seeing those different coloured texts, it's it's I don't know it's, it's a little bit weird. I, I can't like comprehend why some of the text is in different colours. So I, I was wondering whether or not that actually had anything to do with the I wondered if that had anything to do with the projection stones and their pedestals sort of, for, for lack of a better term They always have them? Okay. Maybe just because we haven't like visited the um maybe because we haven't visited too many of the um Maybe because I haven't really visited too many all of the planets yet. Um I haven't really picked up on it before now. Alright, so we need to check out the probe bay, don't we? I think is this one? Not helpful. Yeah. So the probe tracking module is actually out here floating on its own somewhere. Because it's broken away.
Sorry, it was right there. Just because I read something out loud, LB, it doesn't mean I've taken it in. <laughs> my short-term memory is the bane of my existence. No, certain certain things. I, I don't. I, it's really weird. Certain things I'm okay with. Other things, not so good with. I'm pretty sure it's been picked up like multiple times before, in um, let's plays and, and bits and pieces that I've read something and done something and then completely forgotten two minutes later what I read. Um. Oh yeah, so it's underwater. See, I thought... I thought that was actually talking about the probe itself. When I looked at that projection stone, I thought that was the probe, not the actual module. So, the module then is... So the module has landed on the planet then, hasn't it? That's right, I don't like this planet. Because... I can't go any further through there. This is like just like a cave for a bit of shelter, but I don't like this planet because... Um, the gravity is sucks here. It's Gabbro! Let's see you in one piece. First solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, didn't freak out anything, but lately I keep I keep like dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. Alright, so I'm not the only one that's in this loop. What about you? Have you died lately? Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. Uh you're taking it pretty well. Yeah, right back at you. Personally, I like no experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone weird. I tried raiding Hornfells and ask, asking if they'd died too, but they thought I was being 
metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfelds about the time loop, they never remember the next by the next one. They don't realise anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure it's related to that big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen through, see them through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. It happened to me with the museum statue. You too, huh? The Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones who are aware of the time loop. So, no glowing, ti no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find anything I'm new about the statues of the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, what's that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first side of voyage, kind of. Let's talk about what you know. Alright. How's space treating you? I found something. I found what I found what's happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop, for real? Did you figure out why? Yeah, too much power. That's scary how much that sounds like something Slate slate of Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised to know I built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, a broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the Orbital Pro Cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotise you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you stare at them long enough. found your quantum poem yeah the one in the woods i remember writing that poem pretty fun right it works out it works out to a, go a good 24 poems when i'm done exploring i want to make some more quantum art maybe some kind of creature school just like that shows just that just like shows up and scares the daylights out of you it's a bit um why can i not okay i'm gonna say why can i not like Get his frequency. And a photo of you inside the radar tower. Nice. Did I look busy in it? I hope I look busy. Must have been from the time Hornfell sent me to check on the deep space satellite. They thought of old spacey might be malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how I got a shot of my beautiful, of my beautiful behelmeted face. Come to think of it, I always thought it was kind of sweet that the best way to find old spacey is to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? Like, it's inviting us to visit. Good old deep space satellite always making sure we know where we're going. Old spacey. Okay. Thanks, Elby. I mean, the satellite's not super old, but it's hardly brand new. Old is more of a term for affection. You're being very literal-minded about this. Old spacey likes visitors, you know. The fastest way to find it is to jump in your ship and use old your solar system map to lock on to, the, to our faithful satellite friend. Same as you would an astral body. Okay, so we already know about that. Um, what are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? No, I'm just kidding. I'm here as a solar system, same as you. But I tell you, outer space really gives me room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quite unpeaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then less peaceful. Um, when should I just explore on Giant's Deep? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening above orbit, up there in orbit of the planet. Yeah, the probe cannon is firing the probe. What else? What else? Have you been to the Statue Island? think I have but I don't think I was able to get into anything that's what I've been calling it seeing as it's an island where I found the glowing no my statue get it I was on the beach of the statue island when the whole glowy business happened by the way it's a nice beach for that kind of thing I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the gabbro relaxation scale I feel like checking out Satcher Island it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch well mostly connected anyway you'll see uh, okay What's with this planet? Ha, I know, right? Oh, you mean like, tell me more about it. Gotcha. Well, Giant Sea is massive and mostly water. No surprise there. There's a strong current of ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current and no, neither idea worked. But obviously we need to because that's where the probe cannon module is. 
As for land masses, I counted four islands, including this one. There's also one with a no that no my sat there's also the one with the no my statue I saw on the beach. You've seen cyclones? Yeah, they're pretty hard to miss. They'll toss you up in up everything they'll toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water, less likely to kill you. Yeah, it can be, but um, I think the, the nice thing is that um, with like games like this, there's, there's so much um, dialogue and, and you can go back and read it. So if you don't take it in first time, not only can you go back and talk to the characters, Mickey, you can also go, like, go and check out the map and check out the logs and everything. Also, post to check, stand up straight, Iron Smelter is here, standing to attention. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I found a ship. Oh, cool. See, it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? Yeah, kind of. Watch is telling me I should start getting ready to go to sleep. Be roasting marshmallows. Yeah, you really cannot fly fly around too much here with the uh, the jetpack, can you? We can't go any further there. Okay, so. Yeah, I kind of feel in a way that's um, maybe where I'm going wrong at the minute. I need to just, I think I just need to keep exploring a little bit more. It's interesting that Gabbro is also in the, um, he's also in the uh, time loop with us. Now, I think from what we learned in the laboratory at um, Brittle Hollow, I guess one of the cyclones is going to be going or spinning, um, I think it's anti-clockwise. Ones that spin clockwise take you up, the ones that spin anti-clockwise suck you down. So I think we need to look for the cyclone, which is cycling anti-clockwise. I might even have the um, information here about it, actually. If we can find the laboratory. Um, all right, counterclockwise. Sorry. I will try to be um, as... Um, I'll try and translate for you people across the other side of the pond that use your fancy words like counter instead of anti. <laughs> um, it's the lab. Have I got no notes on the lap, even though I've been there? Really? Oh, I, no, it wasn't the lap, it was the observatory. Here we are. This is it. Um, yeah, so most cyclones do indeed rotate clockwise. These are cyclones that use send components up into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the currents. So... We need to find, we need to find a tornado that is spinning counterclockwise. And I see one right here, actually. I think. Oh dear God, what on earth is that thing? Is 
This doesn't feel a very safe place to be. Can I just like hover here for a minute? It said ship log updated, right? Ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electronic field surrounds the planet's core. That doesn't look good, does it? Let's let's be brutally honest here. Also, loads of little lights. makes me nervous. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to approach the, one of these things. Yikes! The hell was that? Was that the reactor exploding? Because I'll be honest, it looked like there was like some sort of... Um, it looked like there was like some sort of like underwater mine or something. Okay. You repair the. Well, I suppose I don't really, don't really need to ask, but. Do you repair the reactor from inside, I guess? And maybe that's where I went wrong. All right, let me go back and talk to um, Gabro. Yo! So what's going on? How you doing? You 
Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Talk about uh I'm down with a bang. Alright, this is Gabro um Um, teach me how to medicate, meditate. I guess that's just the way to um Is that a, is that something I can use to skip the end of the loop maybe? Didn't really teach me how to do anything. the moon yeah it didn't really teach me anything as like how to um, how to actually meditate A little bit unfortunate. Okay, so he said that there was four islands, right? a cannon or something here. Now if I remember before, the those platforms when I was here before it kinda of like sent me up in the air and the cyclones pass over them, so... Make us close to the 100k! This is it! We've finished building the orbital final orbital pro cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit of a round giant's deep for assembly. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I have given... Yeah, I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you going to... Are you going... Gelatinous honours, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. 
If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and... Is that meant to be like a, a bit of a, a pun there? Gooey as Mallow? And Avon's behave together. Daz, you may launch me from the orbital. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avon's behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital pro cannon. Our next step will be to send a privet up to the orbital pro cannon to install the probe tracking system. If I knew my brother Avon's and his spouse will... If I knew my brother, if I know my brother, my, my room's terrible, Avon's and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried that the cam will break under the strain. I propose we give Avon's and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power system than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Okay. Seems like even that, though, was still too much. May have taken the long way around, but right, so that's some drawings of the orbital cannon with like the different modules on the side. This is the control module, which we have already seen. Three minutes, 49 seconds ago. Long range, orbital program, space floor. Alright, so is this... Is this... I have bad news, Avens. Yaro says there is a problem with the proposed power source as the orbital program won't be asked to fire. Maybe pull on my locomotive limb here, Casava. I wish I were, my friend, but no, they are certain they can't, can't fix the, they, they, they aren't certain they can fix the problem. So the orbital program is on definite hiatus. No proof of matter, they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the trust yard for now. Yeah, so we read this up top, didn't we? Willow and I will join you and Daz, Privet. You and Daz. Privet left, us, left to visit her brother. She fears Adea may feel responsible. So maybe there is some different text there. So, interesting. Wait for the um, so let's wait to. Uh, stuff over here. It looks a bit more exposed over here though, so it's got to be careful with this. Another projection stone here for Brittle Hollow. Des and I were lifting the orbital probe carrying components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down below the current. You should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any carrying component to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. So I've convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but were very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? 
My gratitude for your interest and question. This is exciting. Spy constructed a model of the giant's deep here at Brittle's Hollow Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. All right, I'm able to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Quant Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, so they're using the projection stone to sort of look over at Brittle Hollow and get an idea of how the they work, I guess. Okay. You're weirding me out, LB, with the, the constant, like, I know you're doing, like, the purple, the purple-orange text thing, but it's, um, a little bit Frankie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not, but it almost feels like you're trying to hint at something. So I'm pretty sure you're not, but... I have a hunch that, like, if there's a, I say if, there's bound to be a quantum shard on this planet somewhere. I have a hunch that it will be below the core somewhere. Okay, so that's, this is this landmass explored. This is the construction yard. I think, I think, and this is, again, I this I, I pity my short-term memory here, but I'm pretty sure I theorized, I, I had some good theories at the end of one of the episodes last week. Um, so, oh, there's a landing pad there. Maybe I should put the ship there so it doesn't float away. Um, so it's a that's my signal scope Mika and what that allows me to do is that allows that allows me to track and identify well I've already identified certain frequencies so it allows me to track um, like where certain objects are that emit those that frequency that's what that does basically So yeah, my, I think I, I kind of theorized in a way, statue workshop, all right, so there's, there, we know that there's a hidden way into here, sorry, I keep sort of deviating my, my track, my, my path here as I move from place to place. Um, I theorized that um, we may be able to stop 
think oh, I think I theorized that we may be able to stop the supernova from happening and maybe instead I don't believe it's necessarily um, the star dying or the sun dying which is the reason for the supernova theorized that maybe it was something to do with the amount of power that was being used um, by the sun station uh, I believe I think I think that's what I did what if we don't use the door and snuck in the other way does anyone want to I want to see would see the test too Lammy but that leaves a huge risk to take we probably shouldn't maybe Fox will let us see it later I almost so I mean from, from kind of like what I've learnt today almost that's an interesting um what I've learned today though is is quite interesting as well in given that we know that Gabbro obviously is seeing these events as well as us and we've also learned that there's potentially somebody still alive or a group of people still alive at the Ash Twin. Sorry to meet you in statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below inside the island. Yeah, but how do we get into the workshop? Things are getting a little bit lagtastic there, aren't they? Very laggy. So, where is this other... Where is... No trouble. these things do. Kind of keep us grounded. It's interesting. It's very interesting. where we came up. Statue workshop is here, the door is closed. We do know there is another Another route in here which is not as safe into the statue workshop. Uh, that wasn't there before. So, where did that come from? That's It was always there? Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe the cyclone had maybe like brought it into place, but I guess not.
So I wonder if... There is a way into the lab underneath the water. Okay. Okay, I feel like there's uh, quite a lot of knowledge to find out here. Let's see how much time we have remaining. Yarrow, which kind of step back so Daz is closest to the statue. When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is closest in proximity. See how its eyes have opened. That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Okay. It's extraordinary sculpting work blocks. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can te test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a signal, sorry, a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask and a statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Okay, so. So, 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 so. Let, let's, let's take this into consideration a moment. So, what we're saying is, these statues have special abilities. In which once you once a person has looked into it, you you pair with a statue, and your memories are stored in the statue or in the um, statue's counterpart, and then I guess each time, each time the loop happens, the memories of that loop are being sent to our mask. And then when we wake up, effectively, that knowledge is sent back to us so that we don't forget it, right? It, it, I, I, it's probably not like the most concise and accurate description, but that's kind of what I'm getting from this. So our memories are stored somewhere on the Ash Twin. Again, it comes back to this Ash Twin thing. The fact that the Pro was launched by somebody or something on the Ash Twin still resonates with me that there is somebody whether they're surviving potentially surviving no my on the ash twin but they did we did read somewhere that the um the core was inaccessible so whoever's in there it's like they've like locked themselves in like into the core so now i'm thinking although I, well i've been thinking it for a while but a critical phase of this now is to get to the Ash Twin and to work out how we're going to get into the core. But um, yeah, that's a very interesting read. These six pages here. That's very, very interesting indeed. So he looks at the statue and the statue pairs to the Ash Twin and then the Ash Twin sends the memory back to him, or back to them. And the lag. All right, we've got stairs, final boss here. We beat it. Ash Twin protect, Projection Stone. 
Okay. All right. So. Oh. There's the option to meditate. I was right. I was right. I say. So. Another theory time. Another theory. So. Going back to obviously LB's um, color coding and the fact that I identified earlier on that there is, uh, or there are, sorry, two different colors in these texts, right? I think I get, I get what's going on here now. So the text in blue, the text in blue represents that the conversation or the person talking is at our current location. In this case, Giants Deep. The person or the text in orange is indicating that they are at the other location. So in this instance, we're talking, the person here is talking to somebody at the Ash Twin. But that sort of that kind of like really I won't say it blows my mind in a way because it, not in like a revolutionary kind of way but given the amount of different like pedestals there are and the, the amount of different projection stones there are there's potentially like There's potentially like hundreds of conversations you could have here. You could like pick up the rejection stone here and go to another location and then find like loads. Of, is it like just like how much text can you get out of these things? Or am I just like looking at this from like a completely. Um, am, I, am I like being a bit like over the top here? I just feel like given given that understanding I mean it, it might be worth it, it, it might be worth an investigation at some point um But that would, like I said, that, that would kind of mean that there would be like so many, there'd be so many, potentially so many conversations to find in this game. That would be crazy. I mean, I think there's what, there's, there's, is it five or six planets? Five or six planets. Some of them have moons, so it's like double. There must be like eleven or twelve different locations. Maybe they don't all have projection stones. But like for one, potentially for one projection stone, if there was eleven locations, that's ten conversations, right? So maybe maybe I'm like massively overthinking this and blowing this out of proportion, but. Yeah, okay, interesting. We installed the masks inside the Ashtwin project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know that the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Let me just read this again. All 
right, so do we take anything from this? The fact that it says the masks will only activate once the project succeeds or as a safety measure in the event of an equipment failure. Nothing goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Um, again, I don't know if I'm reading into this too much, but is that potentially telling us... Or is the whole thing here... The fact that we're in a loop is that a problem occurring on the Ash Twin project? Therefore, the mask sends us back in a loop 22 minutes, which in theory is enough time to fix the problem. Or does it only send us back 22 minutes because they were they were developing a technology which would allow you to travel 22 minutes back. I'm always wondering if, if this conversation here and this one, in, this in particular, is... is an indicator that something has gone wrong at the Ash Twin project and the mask is trying to give us enough time to fix the issue or it takes us back to re and retry and fix the issue. I don't know. Again, maybe I'm looking into things too much and maybe I'm coming up with dead theories, but um, it was just something that came to my head there as I was reading through that. So, um... Now, interesting to note here. It's, there, there's something, something else interesting here, right? So, from what we've learned, from what we have learned, okay, the masks activate when they have been paired, okay? So, we've got a mask. Gabro's got a mask. There's a third mask there that's been activated. Who does the third mask belong to? Is it Daz's mask that we read down below who during the test, they did the activation or is there somebody else here? Like myself and Gabbro, who is in this loop trying to fix things. I feel like I've jumped down a massive rabbit hole here tonight with what we've uncovered. There is also potential here that one, two, there's another four masks here. I mean, I'll be pretty honest though, looking right here, things don't look particularly stable. this out. See if there was a if there was a, if there's a third person involved or a third creature or being of some description that would totally play into the, the the theory and the philosophy, well, not really a philosophy, but the theory that I had regarding um, there being somebody on Ash Twin. There, how am I gonna get up to there? I 
how do, do we get up there? Because the uh, gravity pull is... Too extreme in this... Um... Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have... Maybe the way we get over to there... Is we wait until... Maybe we have to wait until one of the cyclones comes. So maybe I made a mistake by not... Yeah, maybe I made a mistake by going onto that surface there. Definitely need to go up there because there's more text up there. Um... I'll be completely honest, I'm I'm almost in two minds to um I'm, I'm contemplating cancelling the um cancelling my portal stream tomorrow night to continue playing this because this is getting spicy. Right, we need to go back to the ship. It must be midnight. Thanks, my SQL. I always count on you to tell me when it's midnight. Alright, Mika, no worries. Thanks for hanging. As always, buddy, appreciate it. Yikes. What the hell is that? That. Is that one of the creatures that's been like dredged up from below the surface. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, stopping out so late for the streams, Mika. Appreciate you, buddy. Have a good night. Catch you. Uh, catch you later, buddy. Well, you know, Leo, it's uh, whether or not you can catch or not. The uh, the rerun will always be on YouTube just a couple of days after. Yikes! That whole rock that I was stood on just completely disappeared. But, uh, yeah, boy, oh boy. Did we just, um, did we just learn and find out some interesting things? All right. Time for one more loop. I at least want to try and just, um, if I can, nothing else. I want to try and find out and finish off the text in the, uh, the statue room there. Um. So they put the um. I hate that's not to fire. Quite a computer long range probe was recently launched from that. Uh, the uh, okay, we already know all of that sort of information. Statue Island. I found no my statue line on the beach. Looks just like the one in our observatory. I mean the museum. Uh, no my statues were designed to pair with a single user and record their uh, 
memories. Each storage unit inside the Astrium project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statue was designed to only activate once the Astrium project succeeded or in the event that it failed. I recorded every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted and corresponded storage unit within the Ash Twin. All right. No time to waste. Straight back. Giant's deep. Here we go. Uh, yeah, giant steep, giant steep, giant steep. That's closer than I thought it was. Alright, two things I want to see here. Now, first of all is... That thing we were stood on right at the end, is that something that's dredged up from a cyclone underneath the core? Secondly, really want to try and get into the um, the workshop a bit more and get that higher area there. I wonder if, like, with the, um, with the volcanic rocks on the Brittle Hollow, I wonder if the cyclones are, like, completely random. about to say what the heck is that but that's the um yeah that's the that's the ground that's just been like sucked up isn't it okay there is my answer it's there it's there at the minute at least feel like this is going to offer me the key as to yeah this is going to give me the key to how to get past the things under the under the ocean Can you give me the key maybe give me the secret It's just the uh, the other way around. Yikes! Was that um, recording? There it is. I say it looked like there was. Trip four, entry number whatever. Crashes two. Boring crashes zero. Remember to see slate when I get back. Aha, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. I ah, can't wait to tell Hornfels and Gossan about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems that all's left to do all that's left is the new big is the big one now. Dark Bramble. Here I come. Right, so he knows we need to go and speak to Feldspar then. Right? Because it seems like he knows, or they know, how to they don't divulge it there in that recording. 
but they seem to be able to they seem to know how to get past them they said brute force wasn't the answer doesn't really yikes doesn't really offer as much in regards to getting around it does it is there a, an underwater path here that I could use to get into the middle or is it all frozen off Yes, I'm guessing it's probably going to be the latter. Yeah, this is all sort of frozen. We've just been yeeted. Feldspar has the answer, I think. He has the key. We need to go find him. Or them. They. Okay. Yep. Camped here before heading off to put out Bramble. Way those bold spars to the giant uh, dark bramble. That's not particularly great information to find out. Check to see whether um, any more information here. So now I created these head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the gnome idea doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Do you think the statue's recording our memories then? Because I remember that one on the beach looks at me funny. That must be my memory friend. Yep. Would agree. So we're looking for the islands, but it might be a case that got some damage on the ship as well. Um, it might be a case that um, the islands are currently in the air somewhere. It's not where we need to be, but... Repair the ship. Instead of doing that, I'm like holding... I'm holding X while also trying to like... Navigate my way up. Is Statue Island, isn't it? Yes.
Okay, so... Yeah, holding the match velocity button LB. Exactly what I'm doing. Turns out it doesn't work. So this must be Gabbro's statue, right? Ours is the one in the museum. So now I guess we just need to wait, right? We need to wait until we get flung into space. Like I said, I don't know if that's like a random... Yeah, so much like I, the um, the occurrences on um, Bristol Hollow. I don't know. I, I I can only assume the cyclones are random, so we just have to bide our time until one takes us where we need to go. Certainly sounds like there's uh, a few out there already. I definitely don't see another way to get up to there because of the um, the double gravity effect that we've got on this planet. Ouch. Got to wait it out, unfortunately. Now the the only issue with that is uh, we've just got to keep an eye on our um, oxygen levels. Whilst I wait, what are my theories for the satellite? Uh, for for the um. I don't really know, but I feel like if I can catch the satellite at 40 degrees, then... Oh, it sounds like a cyclone coming, maybe. Um, I wonder if, like, the 40 degrees thing will um, give us a potential location for the sixth location of the quantum moon, perhaps. Wait it out. Next. But then I don't know. It, it may have just been. It may just be coincidence. To be fair, that the the satellite picked the quantum moon up or whatever it is up at the forty degrees. It might just be pure coincidence. Okay. Curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself in time? As an example, if I were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? My f not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? 
Suppose that the, time, that the time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? So, um, what I think that is telling me That's telling me that um, and it's no no surprise really, but we we're, we're not actually. I don't think our, so. Our, our body isn't traveling through time as such. We're not traveling through time. It's our memory and our consciousness. I think that's traveling through time thanks to the masks. That didn't update anything on there, did it? So yeah, um, so hold on. How many? We've still got some more areas to discover here, haven't we? Didn't Gabbro say there was four islands? So he was on one. I don't know if that counts as an island. It says one, two, three. So that would be the fourth, I guess, if the frozen jellyfish is considered an island. Possibly did LB. Oh, I don't believe I saw this. I don't believe I've been here. Oh, okay. Okay. Guess as well in here we're kind of I guess we're safe in here, right? Because we're actually inside a tornado. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. So what, is this like another... Is this like another quantum tower of knowledge? Maybe after the disappointment of the uh, 
the quote unquote quantum tower of knowledge uh, in the last yesterday's stream. Maybe, uh, maybe we're not going to be as disappointed this time around. Enter this place without friends. However, those are lessons to learn for yourself. Oh, sorry. However, these... Enter this place without friends... To me, to me, that sentence doesn't make sense, or that, that phrase doesn't make sense. Surely it would be, enter this place with friends, however, these are lessons to learn yourself. Meaning you can come here with other people, but you must be, you, you must do things on your own in order to learn stuff. Oh my goodness, okay. Seek the Wandering Arch. This is no, there is no text to read here. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. So, what's that telling me? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I know exactly what it's telling me. Telling me. As long as I keep that picture there, the arch will not move. Okay. I guess that's just reaffirming my knowledge that I understand what he just told me. No! The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. They don't naturally meet. Can I force it somewhere else? Well, that's unfortunate.
Just as we were really getting into things here. Oh. Oh, I know I did wrong. Yeah, I should have repositioned the scout there. Yeah, I suppose, Abby. I, I never really, really considered that, in all fairness. About just using normal photo mode as opposed to launching the scout. But. Yeah, that's left me a little bit salty. Right, as we're making some really good progress again. Once again, about the quantum objects. I was making, like, really good progress. And. Um, You know what? The engine had a big brain. I've had a big brain moment. It's how we get to the quantum moon, isn't it? It's how we get to the quantum moon. We take a picture of it. We take a picture of it when it's in the right location. Or even still, maybe we don't even need to use the gravi maybe we don't even need to use the gravity cannon to get there now. If we take a picture of the moon, when we tried to go to the moon yesterday and fly there, obviously we flew so far and then it disappeared because we lost sight of it. But if we've got the picture, okay. Doesn't matter where it is. Surely, if we fly to it, we can then access the South Pole or the North Pole, maybe. All right. Things are getting very, very interesting indeed. Tonight has been um, a very, very interesting stream indeed. Um, we have, I feel like we have found lots of. Well, uh, we found lots of different, um, we found lots of new bits of information. We've found some new abilities. We, I, I don't know. We, we've even theorized quite a few different theories as to what is going on here. And yeah, it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite giddy to, to be fair, because I, I feel like yesterday Maybe not just yesterday, but we've been stuck in a rut, like just going to the same two places. And while we made, while we while we crossed off some things yesterday, and we um, drew some lines under some areas and some different bits and pieces, we didn't really make much forward progress. Whereas tonight, we've branched out, we've gone somewhere different. We haven't just stuck to those two normal places, and we've discovered big things. We really have on um, uh, dog giants deep here i feel like yeah we've learned so much so yeah i'm calling it now guys i'm gonna con i am gonna cancel the portal stream tomorrow because i'm a i'm a point now of this game where i just want to keep playing so portal streams cancel tomorrow we'll be back playing more outer worlds tomorrow night um so um yeah i'm sure i'll apologize to everybody who's expecting a portal stream but uh at the minute i'm in too much of a, a position here where i just want to carry on playing this so um yeah that's um that's what we're doing tomorrow night guys thank you very much for hanging i appreciate the ongoing support as always appreciate you uh you being here you just hanging out and um uh, like i've also alluded to before both for both twitch and youtube i appreciate that nobody has really come in here with any spoilers and everybody has been keeping it very very blind play free for me i really appreciate that guys thank you very much um because it's really making my experience like at this game like amazing like i've i've done with quite a few games recently i've gone into them blind and they've completely blown my expectations um out of the water but yeah we'll be back tomorrow night guys with part number seven of outer wilds but until then guys thank you very much for hanging i really do appreciate your support and until next time i've been knock you've been awesome stay safe happy gaming bye guys thanks a lot